The only person who doubts Bronte is Dana, who quickly spotted the holes in the fraudster's story. Yet despite her best efforts, she's been pushed aside by Irene, and even boyfriends Ander and Sister Harper have been unwilling to entertain her theories. An earlier promo from mid-June first revealed that Dana would find herself held captive by Bronte and her associate as she came closer to exposing Bronte's secret. We need to shut her up, Bronte tells her mystery associate, as the promo voiceover reminds us that she's con the bay, but one person sees through the lot. Then see Bronte and an as yet unknown man enter Irene's beach house one evening, as Dana is home alone. Dana tries to make a break for it, but she's quickly grabbed by Bronte. Through the window of the beach house, we can see her kicking and flailing as Bronte's mate holds his hands over her mouth. The next thing we see is Dana locked inside a metal shipping container. She reaches out through the small gap in the door and grabs the padlock, but it's no use, she's firmly locked in, and seemingly in the middle of nowhere. With Dana missing, Harper simply assumes that her sister has done a runner, explaining that her sister has a habit of disappearing. Whenever things get tough, she takes off needing space, she tells Irene. Should we be worried? Irene asks, but Harper reassures her that it's fine, she always comes back. When Xander catches up with Harper the following day, he asks her if she had a chance to speak to Dana the previous night. Romo cuts back to a miserable Dana trapped in the shipping container, with only a sliver of daylight to allow her to see her surroundings, Bronte is busy working to convince everyone that Dana's disappearance is a good thing. Maybe this is exactly what she needs, Bronte tells Xander and Salt. However, Xander can't stop himself from worrying. I just, I can't help but feel like Dana's not okay, he tells Alf. Where on earth is Dana? asks John, throwing his arms up in the air in frustration at the disappearance of his newest surf lifesaver, before the promo cuts back to Dana screaming for help. It seems Brondi admits that she was the last person to see Dana, but tells Xander that his girlfriend has headed off on a retreat. Xander isn't sure whether to believe her, and he tries to get Bree and John on side. He manages to convince Bree that the story doesn't add up, and the two of them head to Yabby Creek Police Station, where they file a report with Rose. These are some serious accusations, Rose reminds her brother, and it seems like she's another person who's not about to believe Bronte is anything but an innocent dying woman. She was the last person that saw Dana, Xander insists. Tell me that's not suspicious. Will Dana be found in time, and will she expose Bronte's secret before Summer Bay's residents part with more of their hard-earned cash?